I Parry Everything is an anime that I was super excited about when I first saw it. As a person who enjoys a ton of fantasy anime and seeing a character that only has one skill in perfecting it got me super hyped, especially when I saw the trailer. I was like, I cannot wait to watch this anime. From the first episode of building up who Nor is, the main character, and how seeing him trying so hard to become an adventurer, learning that he doesn't have the aptitude to have certain jobs like a thief, a mage, support, etc., to become an adventurer, regardless of that, he worked so hard, made me like, like Nor a lot. I think Nor is such a great protagonist to an extent. And we'll get to that in a minute. I love how hard he works himself to make his dream into a reality. Him wanting to be an adventurer to the core. He works his ass off just to get there. From going to different like schools or training camps to see what he can do. And even though they turn him down and tell him like you should just give up, he doesn't give up on the on the fact that he wants to become an adventurer. It's kind of like he has the aptitudes to a certain extent, but not to take it far to specialize in that. He's kind of like a jack of all trades, but at the lowest tier. And the only skill that he was able to obtain through all of this was parry. Now, if you guys don't know what parrying is, it's pretty much being able to block and to counter perfectly at the right time. The fact that he did all of that the fact that regardless of him getting rejected he still worked hard dude that was so admirable it made me like nor a lot and he just constantly worked for years and years on that one skill parry kind of remind me of zanetsu right he only has a one breathing form the first technique now my only issue with nor and this anime in general is how oblivious and how dense nor is now to be fair he grew up outside of the castle grounds he was outside kind of what they call the boonies right he is kind of oblivious and is unknowledgeable of the happenings around the castle and certain things he's only read about it in books but he's never encountered it himself so when he finally gets into a situation he's not sure what it really is there's a lot of cues in an anime where you would be like and even irl where you'd be like holy crap i should know this like an example Okay, an example is when he meets the king and the people of the royal family and even one of the guardsmen, one of the people that protect the, the it's the Clayman kingdom, the Clayman family, mentions that this is royalty. This is the king. She mentions that it's the king, but it kind of goes in one ear out the other and he doesn't realize that, oh my God, this is royalty. No, he doesn't know. He sees everyone kind of bowing and kneeling to this person who is sitting on a throne in a big house and you'd be like oh my god this guy's a king not just a noble person he's a king he's like oh this guy must be important he's a noble he doesn't also like there's a moment where he fights a, a huge creature and he's like oh that's just this animal but really big no you fucking dumbass i read it in a book no because even the regular people would see that and they'd be like oh my god that's that's this monster no he's like oh that's just a huge farm animal drives me crazy this anime has a lot of misunderstandings kind of reminds me of that rom-com anime gamers now gamers didn't drive me as crazy as this now gamers did drive me crazy but it was hilarious it was hilarious how the misunderstandings in that romance anime happen but when it comes to this it's serious they're freaking it's it's not even funny it's serious we are five episodes into i parry everything and to be honest if it continues to go down this route of constant constant misunderstandings and no one is even trying to clear it up for him because they think he's doing one thing but it's comp not only is he be misunderstanding things a lot of people are misunderstanding every fucking character is misunderstanding their freaking situations and it actually drives me insane <laughs> i might not even want to watch the rest of this the the season until it's done i'm gonna give it six seven episodes if there's no clearing up of anything and he just continuously belittles the situations that he's in with no one even trying to explain anything i'm gonna just take a break from this anime and just focus on other fun fantasy anime that have come out th this season there's a lot of fun anime this season and i haven't really talked about any of them yet uh, because you guys know i've been going to events back to back nonetheless guys i hope you guys enjoyed this uh talk about i parry everything i like this anime a lot except the misunderstandings because they, they just happen too frequently let me know how you guys feel about i parry everything as well if you're wondering where you can watch it you can watch it officially on high dive 
anywhere else, you can Google it. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. Catch you guys in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.